Hello and welcome to the ICDsoft account panel. You can see the URL accounts.icdsoft.com. This is where you log in in order to manage your smart VPS. So once you've logged into the account panel, you should navigate to the hosting accounts menu. And there you see that we have a single smart VPS pro account with the domain example.com. And there is the server icon that designates that this is indeed a smart VPS type of account. So if you click on it, it'll take you to the Manage Server menu. This is where you can review your entire server resource utilization. It shows you your total disk space, inodes, and traffic usage, as well as the CPU usage for the past day. The next graph shows you the resource distribution per account, but we have just a single account right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at the hosting account section. You can see that we have a single hosting account right now under our smart vps it's with the domain example.com so that's our master account the master slash parent account is the first account created with the provisioning of the multi-account vps service it uses the domain you entered when placing your smart vps order from that point on any additional accounts that you open are known as child accounts you can have an unlimited number of child accounts but just one master account let's go ahead and create our actual hosting plans Go to the Manage Plans menu. Press the Create button there. The product name is the internal name of the plan in your own product catalog. The display name could be different, but I'll just set both of them to Plan A. The disk space, traffic, and inodes are hard limits for the child account. Users that exceed their monthly traffic limit will have their web, cron, FTP, database, and SSH services disabled automatically. You can update the traffic limit and reactivate the suspended services for a child account through its Manage Resources section in the Account panel. If a child account reaches its disk space or inode limit, no services would be disabled. The account would simply be unable to store new data on the server, which could in turn affect the incoming email, for example. You can see that I've entered here all the specs for Plan A. It will have 5 GB of disk space per month or 5000 MB. It will offer 500 gigabytes of traffic and I'll leave the rest of the settings to their default values. So let's go ahead and create another plan called Plan B. It will have double the resource of Plan A so it will come with 10 gigabytes of disk space and 1000 gigabytes of traffic. Again the rest of the settings are default. So now we have two plans, plan A and plan B, and we can create our actual child accounts using these plans. Let's proceed and create the first child account. It'll be, for example, for site1.com. It'll use plan A. Let's create another account. This time using plan B. So now we have a couple of child accounts and one master account. Each account has its own completely separate control panel. The URL to it and the actual login credentials are listed in the welcome email sent to you upon activating a given child account. From that point on, you can customize that email with your branding and send it to your end customer. Let's log into one of these control panels and take a look at it. It's the standard control panel that comes with all of our regular accounts without any limitations or restrictions. Of course, there is no ICD soft branding anywhere on the control panel interface making our company completely invisible in this entire process. So that wraps up our Smart VPS tutorial. If you have any questions regarding our Smart VPS plan, please don't hesitate to contact us.